Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say so. I, I don't really look at it that way, you know. I mean, I kind of just focus on myself and getting the most out of myself every day. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that there might be a target on my back, but I'm, I'm kind of looking looking forward anyway. So, I mean, I'm not, not really thinking about what's behind me. So. There were a lot of really talented wrestlers in that young gun room where you and Spencer came out of. What, what made... I guess what helped Spencer stand out from all those talented wrestlers? Yeah, um, I mean, just how dominant he was, uh, you know, nationally and then internationally. I mean, I mean, everyone, I mean, you've seen how much success he's had, so that was big. And then in the room, just uh, probably just watching him kick a lot of guys' butt. And he was uh, two years, yeah, I think two years younger than me, so it's, it was kind of weird. I remember when I first really started. Uh, noticing was whenever he was beating kids that were older than I was, you know, beating them up in the room. And I was like, oh, this this young guy's coming in and kicking these guys' butts. So uh, that's something that definitely stands out to you, catches your eye. Was that your first impression of him, or what, what was your first impression when you first got in the room? Yeah, I mean, I I know I wrestled at some some stuff with him when I was younger, and I mean, I always knew that he was a tough wrestler and he was very competitive. And so, yeah, I mean, I know impressions I had is. Back when I used to wrestle him in practice, he was super competitive, and I was kind of like, "Oh, this guy's, you know, younger, smaller than me." So I'm kind of surprised that he's he's uh, he's as competitive as he is, you know. But that's just that's how he's wired, you know. It's it's awesome. He's always been like that, you know. He's he's a fighter. He get you in his firing shot. Um, oh, I'm sure he has, but uh, I don't know. I got him too, so you know. <laughs> you and the other wrestlers always say. Next match is most important, but how do you keep emotion out of a match, out of taking emotion out on the mat with you? Uh, yeah, I think it's just, I mean, I think it's good to have a routine. Um, and you get to practice that routine a lot. The more you go out and compete every week, these duels, that's an, another thing they're good at. You know, every time maybe just tweaking little things in your routine, but I'm focused on my routine, getting my body ready, getting my mind ready, uh, making sure everything's ready to go so when I'm thinking about that and focused on the right stuff you know focused on moving my hands moving my feet just thinking about the right things then the emotions you almost don't really have time to to let them set in because you're just you know you're kind of got that tunnel vision just focusing on getting the things you need to get done because you grew up in PA uh, Penn State wrestling what does it mean to the community of Pennsylvania and you know just describe this team and the ones you've seen in the past and their consistency over the last few years? Yeah, yeah, it's um, something that I definitely saw unfold like as I got older because, um, you know, when I was younger, they that was before that they were, before they were starting to win all those national titles. So um, kind of just saw it happen uh, gradually and then they got on top and they stayed there for a while, you know, and they, they won it last year too. So um, yeah, it's, it was big. Uh, I know their fan base too. It seemed like they grew a lot just because um, there's always really good high school wrestling and wrestling growing up through the levels there. So once the, the college team really started winning, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people really started following them a lot. So, so it was good for the state. How did you get away? How did you come out here? Um, well, so back before Penn State won all those national titles, um, you know, I, I remember going to a match, Iowa versus Penn State, and it was at Rec Hall, and Iowa was like national champs that year. I remember watching, they went out, and they kind of whooped up on Penn State, and then I remember after the duel, there were a bunch of people over, crowding around all the Iowa guys, getting autographs from the Iowa guys, and a bunch of Penn State fans kind of, is what I felt like, and I was like, you know, these guys must be the real deal, and then just watching them wrestle after that, I was a huge fan, so always followed the program, and then you know, once I got out here and went on the visit and everything, that was that was it. Were you one of those guys getting the autograph? Uh, yeah, I did. I think I got a couple autographs. I got uh, I can't remember exactly how many I got, but I was I was definitely down there. Any big names? Um, no, I got Metcalf's autograph. He was a big favorite of mine growing up, but uh, I don't know. I, I got a couple though. Morningstar? I'm sure I did. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I was just just. Here you go, you know, just getting whoever I could at that time.
Would you consider it a rivalry, though, Iowa-Penn State, given, you know, Iowa won their string of national titles and now Penn State has asserted itself? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, um, there, I feel like it's a duel that people always are interested in every single year just because both programs are always in that national title conversation. And um, then you got teams like Ohio State, too, that are in there. So I'd say, you know, Penn State, Iowa, Ohio State, teams like that are wrestling and everyone wants to wants to watch. So I'd say it's definitely a rivalry, yeah. All right, next, Michael.